Hello and welcome to Micro uh, Mark A Gaming, your one-stop shop for your gaming needs. Today we're going to be looking at the retro handheld console based on the Atari 2600. Uh, in general, the box looks generally quite nice. Uh, with all your favourite languages, English, French, Italian, German, Spanish. Uh, this one comes with 50 classic Atari games built in, uh, which include 3D Tic Tac. 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, which has apparently got 32 in one games. Adventure, Air Sea Battle, a classic Asteroids game, Blackjack, Bowling, Breakout, Canyon Bomber, Casino, Centipede, Circus Atari, Crystal, Crystal Castles, there we go, I'm learning to read as we do this, you see. Demon Diamonds, Desert, Desert Falcon, Dodgem, Double Dunk, Fun With Numbers, Golf, Gravatar, Haunted House, Home Run, Human can Cannibal, Maze Craze, Millipod, you know, generally all your favourites. The one I am unfortunately did not see on here is Space Invaders, which is a shame because I absolutely love that game. But, there we go. We have still got some shooters on here. So, let's get into the box and have a look. I've already taken the sellotape off to speed up the video because, you know, and put batteries in, so we didn't have to do that. The whole system itself looks generally quite nice. I would have preferred a wood finish, but they've gone with plastic. But in general, it generally looks quite nice. If I can actually show you properly in the video. There we go, I think. And in general, the D-pad feels nice. I thought it was, uh, when I first saw images of it, I thought it was an analog stick, but it's not. Like, joystick sort of thing, but not. It's just D-pad. All directional buttons work fine. And same with the weirdly two buttons on the thing. Since Atari is generally only had one button. As far as I rem remember. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, right then, so let's have a look at, first of all, everyone's favourite, Asteroids. Let's turn the sound up, you know, so we can actually hear the bleep black bloop. Right then, let's start. This is always fun to play, just to mess around with. Well, I'm not very good at this game, even though it's literally just shoot. Especially playing for a viewfinder, not easy. So I'm actually trying to look over the top now and see what I'm doing. But I've got horrible lighting today, I should have probably done this in the evening instead of the day. But there we go. Come on. Come on. Got him. No, this game is so fun. <laughs> so basic, yet so fun. Oh god. Oh, we got it. <laughs> we got it there. And again, I, was, I stopped concentrating on what I was doing then. Yeah, you get the gist. Asteroids. Shoot the asteroids. Don't let them hit you. Space shooter, and as far as I'm aware, you can't move. I haven't found a way where you can move. I just think you turn in a central spot in the middle. Oh, you can move. You have to hold that direction for longer, I think. No. Oh, I know how you move. You have to point the direction and then push forward. But that's how you die quicker. Right. And now I think I've crashed the game because of where I died. There we go. Right then. Yeah, one downside to this, because I did have a little play beforehand, was um, to re uh, select a new game. There is literally no function on it that lets you go back home without turning it on and off, which is a downside. 
but yeah, it's it's still pretty good. It's fun. Let's try Demons to Diamonds. I've never heard of this game before. Um, let's see what we do and work. Ah, we died. I think I get the gist. You just we're taking hits now. There we go. Ah, right. I'm not very good at this game. Oh, this is weird. Ah, uh, right. Okay, we died. <laughs> Let's end that game. Sorry guys, I've moved the viewfinder to make it easier for me to see then over the top. It's the first time I've ever recorded a video like this. Uh, let's have a look at another game, shall we? Uh, so we did Demons to Diamonds. Uh, let's see if there's something that's not killing stuff. Golf, I tried last night, I just can't get to grips with it at all. It's weird as hell. Um, Let's have a look at Super Football. Oh. I'm British. I didn't think football meant American football. This is a newer Atari game. So it's not just the Atari 2600 games. It's cool. Don't know how you play this game though. No idea what I'm doing. Right, let's just uh, find a different game because I have no idea what's going on or what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, let's have a go at Missile Command. I remember that being pretty good, I'm sure. This is also a weird game to play. Blow these missiles up. Come on, where's these shops? I think nothing's working now. What? Okay, we lost. <laughs> Again. I don't understand what I'm doing for some of these games, I'm sorry. I'm just glad E.T. is not on here because I know I've had no chance in how I've watched gameplay of that. And that game's confusing as hell. Uh, let's try a miniature golf. Right then. So, where's the ball? There's the ball. So how do we hit the ball? Okay, you spring. I'll get you. Okay. There we go, I hit it actually quite hard then, and uh, it failed miserably, didn't it? So the charge of the shot is how far away you move the block away from uh, the ball and in some places you just can't move very far from it at all so it's just 
a little tap to move it away from the barrier. And we've got you. Right, let's try and get a better view on that for you guys to see. Now we just need to tap it in now. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that screen because it's not coming up very clearly for you guys. That was a terrible hit. Just trying to get a decent run up on it. There we go, I think. There we go, we got it past the red cube of doom. This is actually quite fun, even though it's annoying at the same time. Oh, almost got it in now. There we go, we got her in. Lay him out up, there we go. Now we need to get across a bit, and then we need to go up at an angle. Ah, oh, this is an awkward shot. Almost got her in now, there we go. Right, anyway, that is crazy golf. So we'll have a, another quick look at another game, and then we'll talk about the system a bit more. Uh, the build quality and stuff like that. In general, I think it's pretty good. Uh, but let's find another game. Let's see how terrible I am at Pong. Everyone should know Pong. Oh god, I'm losing already. I'm the green one. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. There we go. Oh god, wrong way again. <laughs> oh, we might get a point. No. The AI is just too good for this. Oh my god, and I'm just terrible. Oh, right. That is... That is the Atari 2600 plus whatever else is on there. Uh, in general, this is a really good system. I did wait 10 months for this. I pre-ordered it back in December, once I first heard about it. And uh, it did get delayed twice, um, which is unfortunate. But it's out now. I finally got it almost a year later. But no, in general, this system feels really good. Um, it has a headphone jack. Uh, volume as you expect uh, and it also has a navy outlet so you can connect it to the TV and play it as this is the controller so it becomes a plug and play as well as a handheld system which is pretty cool but it does require for a uh, AAA batteries which is a pain in the bum I was hoping it would just be AAs like two AAs would have done the trick but I'm guessing size parameters but no in general it's a good system, it's fun, and I like it a lot. It gets a big thumbs up from market. Oh god, oh god, I've knocked the camera over. Oh god, I'm knocking everything over. And it gets a big thumbs up from market Gaming. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. Catch you all soon. Goodbye for now.